All I'm trying to do is go out the door. Y'all see this on camera. I'm trying to leave out the door, get away from the situation, and make things better for me. But um, I can't seem to uh, go. Can you please get off me? I'm Harry, asking her twice. I'm asking you to Can sit Can you down. please get off of me? Okay, I'm asking you to sit Can down. Can you bro. please get off of Gary, me? Gary, please don't put your hands. I'm, I'm begging you, please sit down, Gary. Please, please don't leave me. Please. This, please. You see this, right? Gary, Gary, you see this? Please, I'm trying stop. to go. Please. I'm trying I'm to go. Look at me. Look at me. Look I don't want to be with you. I will give you whatever. I don't stop, want nothing stop. from you. I want to get away from you. Gary. I want when it comes to three year old Zaley Rasmussen. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Rasmussen, you are not the father. Yeah! Yeah! Miss Miller. Be respectful. I'm sorry. Miss Miller. I'm sorry. Yes. That's a lot of nerve considering the alternative is somebody that don't want nothing to do with you or your child. I'm sorry. That's a lot of nerve. You just showed me where your priorities were right there. I'm sorry. Because I held out hope that you weren't just acting a fool because you so mad at him because he cheated on you that you would cheat your child out of a father. But that cheering you did, what you cheering? I'm a single mother with nobody that loves me or my child. What you cheering for? I'm not. Nice. No, you were. God, I'm officially divorced. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm officially primary custodian of the kids. What about the child support? That's it? Tony, that's crazy. Why? Are you getting me? That all of this financial burden with my children is on me? What is not fair. After ultimately divorcing him, she was overjoyed until she learned that he would not be providing child support. That merely serves as evidence that she had other intentions and wasn't married for love. At last, men are rising and refusing to be treated disrespectfully, much less utilized as ATMs. More and more men are realizing how valuable they are and they will not put up with being treated disrespectfully or exploited for their financial gain. Many men are starting to reevaluate the conventional expectations of marriage as a result of this mental shift. Both extremes are antagonistic towards one another when it comes to dating. How the guy in the second clip must be feeling is beyond me. She is delighted that he is not the child's father even after they had spent years together. That is heartbreaking. Modern women have angered men for being too forceful, sexually liberated, blue-haired radical feminists, and manly. Modern males have angered women by being overly poisonous, emotionally stifled, lacking ambition, and simultaneously supporting misogyny. We cannot survive without one another even though we despise one another. Still, it's about time for males to realize they shouldn't get married. Even though males get more from marriage than women do, the difficulties and repercussions aren't worth the trouble. Men's marriage rates are declining largely due to the dread of divorce. Many have seen the psychological and financial toll that divorce takes and are reluctant to sign a legally binding agreement that might result in a repeat of the past. MGT and W males opt to stay away from marriage and relationships entirely because they feel that they are not worth the emotional, financial, and legal dangers that they include. There is no justification for a man to be married other than procreation. Matrimony is merely a facade for deception. Marrying a modern woman has become their retirement strategy. There is no need for a man to get married. Marriage should not be viewed by men as being as significant as it was 15 years ago. As to the Pew Research Center, 9% of women between the ages of 18 and 34 think that having a successful marriage is the most important thing in their lives up from 28% to 37% in 1997. It was the other way around for guys. It is not a sign of immaturity or laziness for a man to decide against marriage. It's reacting logically to the incentives that exist in the modern world. Why marry when, in five years, the wife leaves him and takes half of his wealth? On the man's side, that is a loss. Even in cases where a woman cheats and the marriage dissolves, she is still entitled to half of the man's possessions. Men are motivated by women.
And it's like when the quality of the women have go, has gone down so much and the contract of marriage, it, it's like what incentive do men have? Like genuinely, what incentive do men have to get married today? None. What, what's the average body count of a 31-year-old, which is when you're getting married? Some are coming in with kids. It's like what incentive do men have to get married? I feel like it's... That's why I say marriage in 2023, it's not marriage anymore. It's it's something else because marriage is for better, for worse, and sickness and in health, for richer, for poor. It's yeah. like you do this, you cannot leave... leave no matter, I don't I'm care negotiable. if it's sheets, I don't care, like whatever it is, you cannot leave. But women, like we don't have that mindset anymore. It's mm-hmm. gone. Mm-hmm. But it's like social media, like we are so much more susceptible to like brainwashing from mm-hmm. social media than men are. And there's so many girls that get on their phones and they think that there's a better thing coming. So there's no good woman because every girl can have social media mm-hmm. and a guy can come in and swoop. At anytime. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so, right. and so that's the problem is mm-hmm. like, it, so what do we do? Just we. Just- yeah, I just think marriage is an L in today's day and age. I mean, there's obviously the tradition component if you're religious, but when it comes to the government involvement and the potential financial ramifications of having to unwind a marriage, it does not make sense. Just a couple quick stats on the marriage thing. 50% of marriages end in divorce. 80% of divorces are initiated by women. 90% if she's college educated. 90% of child support payments go from men to women. 97% of alimony payments go from men to women. So I think marriage is a pretty big L for men and they get absolutely crushed in the court system. Prenuptial agreements can get thrown out. So even if you do have a prenuptial agreement, they can definitely be thrown out. They're not bulletproof. So don't get married, guys. Don't do it. I think. Men should not be married not to ruin their future. Rather, it's for their benefit and peace of mind. Nevertheless, there are some things you should know if you're a male and you want to marry, perhaps due to religious or social pressure, to make the most out of your union. Make sure you are fully informed about her. She must sign a prenuptial agreement, which is crucial. Talk to her without jumping to conclusions. Don't let go of yourself. Take care of your health and mind. Own your portion of the answer. Don't try to solve everything. Just do what you can and let your partner finish the job. Have fun. For a man, marriage is not the end of the road. A man has to be the same man he was before the marriage, even after being married. He must continue to work hard and aspire to be better because when the lady goes with half of his riches, he has to be the same man. For this reason, in 2024, I would constantly counsel males against getting married. The women of today are not worth it. There are several arguments in favor of that assertion. One, you're going to lose pals. Men's relationships with friends from work and school tend to dwindle after marriage. Marriage causes both men and women to lose friends, although it usually has a greater negative impact on men's self-esteem. Two, both your money and your children could be lost, nor are they necessarily your children. To them, you are just another way to make money. They would tolerate you for five years before divorcing you, taking your possessions and the children. Three, modern ladies aren't conventional. The days of wives submitting to their husbands are long gone. Women today aspire to be in charge while maintaining their femininity. Why marry a woman who possesses a man's level of energy? The game has been hampered by feminism. These are but a handful of the numerous arguments against men marrying contemporary women. Stay aware, folks. It's 2024. Sure, there would be pressure everywhere, but a man needs to know what he wants and be willing to fight for it. 